Hey everybody, my name is Dave Good. I teach people how to play saxophone. This is my, uh, this is kind of my new horn, my new baby. Uh, alto saxophone. This is a Con, a 6M. Serial numbers indicate that it was built in 1946. And I've got a Meyer a 7M mouthpiece. And I'm actually using, I know, an alto sax. Uh, playing uh, Jazz Selects 2 Softs, okay? And I'm kind of, you know, I, I, again, I'm, I'm returning to my roots. But, uh, I think I've said before that I started on alto sax. Uh, switched to baritone sax, played Barry sax for years and years and years. Uh, got back to alto sax, played that for years, and then for the last decade or so, I focused on tenor sax. Had some wrist uh, issues, some arthritis from an old fracture, and it made it really hard to hold the tenor sax, actually very painful. So the alto sax, this one just kind of fell from the heavens and landed in my lap. Do you believe that? It's not really quite how it happened, but it did. Anyway, <clears throat> Uh, and most of my studio is E-flat anyway, so uh, I'm solving the same problems as the, my students uh, on alto saxes are solving rather than transposing on tenor sax and explaining them how to do it on their horns. The, uh, the, the purpose of this session is to, is to help guide you uh, to a purchase. If you're thinking about, you know, holidays are coming up here, and if you're thinking about getting someone you love or yourself uh, an alto sax, a starter alto sax, I've got a suggestion for you. Most of my students play, uh, my, my younger students, are playing saxophones made by the Jean-Paul, uh, Jean-Paul USA, and I'll link to that in the comments below. Jean-Paul, J-E-A-N-P-A-U-L, USA. And uh, just yesterday, I was doing a tone uh, comparison with one of my students and, and, and demoing that I will sound the same on your horn you will sound the same on my horn. It's not the horn. It's you and it's the, your relationship to the mouthpiece and air and all that sort of thing. And again, we can, we can, we can dig a lot diver into that, <clears throat> a lot deeper. We can di dig a lot deeper into that topic uh, uh, at another time. But this is really about uh, helping you if you're in a place where you'd like to purchase a horn and you're looking at sticker prices and just going, holy mackerel. Um, I advise most people who are, you know, coming to the horn, most of my adult learners, like rent one for a couple of months and see if it really fits what you thought it was going to be. And if you like the sound and if you want to continue, take a look at the horns of Jean-Paul. Now, let me get back to this play comparison. She had a Jean-Paul, an alto, uh, and it was the student budget, the budget priced uh, one, which is I, well under... Uh, well under $600, or well under $700. It might have gone up just a little bit here. Unheard of for a quality alto sax. And these are all quality builds. So I give her my horn. She's, she's, got, the, she's got the 6M. And the 6M, um, you know, look it up. The 6M was, uh, is, has been called by some writers as one of the best alto saxes ever built. It predates uh, the Mark 6s. And, and it is said that, uh, that uh, the Selmer took much of the development of this horn and built it into the sixes and their line of, uh, of saxophones down the road. I don't know, I wasn't there. I just, you know, I just, I read these things. Uh, I love this horn. I enjoy playing it. So I, I hand it to her and I take her Jean-Paul student alto. And I got to tell you, I liked it better than the 6M. Not making that up. I don't get any money, by the way. I get I get nothing from um, from Jean Paul. I recommend them because they're really super good horns. However, Jean Paul, if you're watching this and you would like to help a brother out, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I, I uh, she she had a hard time making this horn work, uh, which surprised me. But it's got hair trigger, super fast action, and everything is super super close. So you can bump a lot of side keys accidentally and open up things that you didn't want to open up. The Jean Paul Student Alto had a beautiful, rich, smoky tone. I love the action. I love the feel of it. I love the heft of it. And they are, again, like I said, I think they're putting them out there with a, with a good warranty for in the ballpark of six, seven hundred dollars or less, depending on the finish you get. And they've got a pro model. And I think the pro model is well under fifteen hundred dollars. I think it's more like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars from their door to yours. They deliver and they have a warranty. They don't have a storefront. They uh, they ship out of Florida. These horns are built in China. They're quality builds. The Sax Tech, who keeps my vintage horns alive and well, absolutely loves them. 
We haven't had a single problem that we couldn't solve easily. Uh, most of the horns do, don't come to us with problems, uh, but if they develop one, you know, because they've been played, uh, you, you know, quite quite rambunctiously in school marching bands or things like that, stuff's easy to fix, easy to adjust, and they they keep in tune through the range of the horn. Again, I was happy with the the, the way the pearls felt, the touch, the action, the sound of the horn with my Meyer 6M, 7M, and. I would say that I would be remiss if I were not to perhaps, uh, yeah, I, what do I need two altos for, right? But if I was going to replace this one or have, a, have an alto, uh, I, I'm not so sure this is something I would take to a club uh, <clears throat> and, and play and leave on the bandstand. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's not replaceable. Uh, I would think that I would want to have a backup horn, and I would think about the, the, the Jean Paul. So that's my, my suggestion to you for you holiday shoppers is, uh, you know, you can, you can surely look at a lot of other brand names of horn, but you can get one right out of the box. Good price, good build, good warranty, good background, and a lot of people are playing them and enjoying them. Uh, Dr. Wally Wallace, look him up. He does a review of the... Uh, the, uh, the Jean Paul, uh, the, the pro level alto sax that I was just talking about. And I think uh, that he, he play tested that for a year. And I think he said that he made that his main player and actually recorded with it. Um, it's just, it's, the, these are well built horns, and you, you, can, you can buy one and keep a lot of money in your bank account. And who doesn't like that in uh, the, the, this era of uh, six and seven dollar uh, gasoline? All right. Anyway, that's my that's all I had today for you. Was yeah, I love the con, but I think I like the Jean Paul more. Okay, take care, y'all. If you have any questions, reach out to me at davegoodsax at gmail.com. davegoodsax at gmail.com. Thank all of those of you who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the dinger. Subscribe, please. Send me ideas for stories, future stories. If you have any questions, uh, I'd be happy to answer them. You can reach out to me at davegoodsax at gmail.com. We can also set up lessons there, either in person here or via Zoom. Uh, or you can leave uh, comments below, and I'll get back to you. All right? All right. All right. Happy saxophone hunting, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for being there.